Hello and a warm welcome to Sharad Chandra IAS Academy where our dreams are our mission. This is Yathar Thir. Today we'll be talking about the possibility of president's rule in Delhi. We'll see what is Article 239 AA and AB. And all of this we'll see in prelims perspective. That means president's rule as per UPSC. What articles deal with it and furthermore. So let's move to the news. So the headline is AAP claims that he will run government from jail. So who are we talking about? We are talking about the Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal. So he has been recently arrested in a money laundering case. And the claim is that he will be running the government from jail inside. Alright, so why is that easier said than done? So the news says that LG, that means Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, can push for President's rule or a state emergency in this condition where the chief minister has been arrested if he doesn't quit so delhi chief minister and aam aadmi party national convener arvind kejriwal was arrested recently by the ed or enforcement directorate and on charges of corruption and money laundering in connection with the formulation and execution of government's excise policy in 2021-22 now this policy has been scrapped but this all doesn't matter to us because these are political developments so these are very, very dynamic and not of much matter to us. Now, what is the issue here? That if Kejriwal holds on to his post, the centre could cite that to frame new constitutional challenges. All right. For one, a chief minister governing from jail could trigger constitution of failure of constitutional machinery in a state. That means the constitution machinery in a state and especially the capital of India. We are talking about no common state. We are talking about Delhi. That it has failed. Alright, and if the LG feels so, he can go to the president that the president rule should be applied in this state. Alright, under Article 239AB. Alright, furthermore what we see that uh, Lieutenant Governor to report to the president to suspend the operation of Article 239AA. And under this article, he'll uh, tell the president that such and such should happen. Now, what comes in front of us is what is Article 239AA and AB. This is of prime importance here. Alright, so inserted into the constitution by the 69th Amendment Act of 1991. So inserted into the constitution by the 69th Amendment Act of 1991. Please remember this CAA 69th. Article 239AA confers special status on Delhi. Alright, so this can be asked directly in the prelims. That which CAA, Constitutional Amendment Act, confers special status on Delhi following the recommendations of the S. Balakrishnan Committee. So please remember the name of this committee also. Which committee is this? S. Balakrishnan Committee. So that was set up in 1987 to look into Delhi's demand for statehood. Alright. And according to this provision, the NCT or National Capital Territory of Delhi will have an administrator and that means additionally as well as a legislative assembly. Subject to the provisions of the constitution, the legislative assembly shall have the power to make laws for the whole or any part of the NCT with respect to any of the matters in the state list or concurrent list. Please remember these two things. A state list, let me just clear this. So, state list as well as concurrent list. So far as any such matter is applicable to the union territories, except, now this must be remember, except on the subject of police and public order and land. Alright, these are still with the center or under the LG. So, please remember these things. In 1991, when Article 239 AA was inserted, the parliament also passed the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi Act 1991, that is GNCTDA Act of 1991. Alright, to provide a framework for the function of the Assembly and the Government of Delhi. So, in 2018, there was a ruling regarding this Act when there was, if you remember, there was much political tussle between the LG and the CM. That the introduction of Article 239AA in the Constitution Parliament envisaged a representative form of government for Delhi. Which form of government? A representative form of government. Please remember. Okay, I'll give a question 
on the telegram channel in which this all will be asked so only those who are watching the lecture will be able to solve so while seeking to provide a directly elected legislative assembly with legislative powers over matters within the state list and the concurrent list barring those exempted so what is exempted the public law the police and the land it also sought to mandate the lieutenant governor to act on the aid and advice of council of ministers all right except when he decides to refer to the matter to president for a final decision all right so this is such a matter where the chief minister has been arrested himself so what he can do he can just uh, send the matter to the president all right moving forward the article 239 aa just a second so the article 239 aa says that in case of a difference of opinion between the lieutenant governor and the ministers minister which ministers of the legislative assembly of delhi the lg shall refer the matter to the president so now is the time all right chief minister has been arrested matter of difference is there because lg does lg may or may not want that uh, the kejriwal who is the cm of delhi runs the government from the jail okay it he may deem that it is the failure of constitutional machinery in the delhi so referring to article 239 aa the court clarified that the powers of the council of ministers of delhi spans all subject in the concurrent list yes and state list excluding three subjects which is uh, which three subjects public law police and land all right however if parliament makes law in respect to certain subjects falling in the state list or the concurrent list the executive action of the state must conform to the law made by the parliament that means parliament still has an exclusive power parliament has more power in the case of delhi all right let's move forward now let's talk about what is president's rule so article 355 imposes a duty on the center to ensure that the government of every state is carried out in accordance with the provision of the constitution so constitution has some provisions and article 355 please remember not 356 all right please remember not 356 so article 355 imposes a duty we are talking about the duty all right and the imposition of the duty and who is being imposed the center the it is the duty of the center this can be asked like this like a statement here so according to article 355 it is the duty of the center to make run each state as per the constitution or the provisions of constitution all right so it is to fulfill this duty that center takes over the administration of a state under article 356 in case of failure of constitutional machinery in a state it is also known as a state emergency or constitutional emergency all right so who takes over the rule the center grounds of imposition so what are the grounds of imposition for this the president's rule can be proclaimed under article 356 on two grounds all right there are two grounds for such proclamation so article 356 empowers the president to issue a proclamation if he is satisfied that a situation has arisen in which the government of a state cannot be carried on with accordance with the provision of constitution so this is the primary uh mandate let's say or primary condition so what is the primary condition that failure of constitutional machinery if the cm is himself in jail how can he run the constitutional aspects of the state second thing article 365 says that whenever a state fails to comply with or give effect to any direction from the center it will be lawful for the president to hold that a situation has arisen in which the government of the state cannot be carried on in accordance with the provision of the constitution all right moving forward let's talk about the parliamentary approval and duration of this president's rule these are the two most important things to start it and to end it that how this can be started and how this can be brought to an end so a proclamation by the president which imposes the president's rule must be approved by both the houses of parliament that means lok sabha as well as rajya sabha within 2 months from the date of its issue however if the proclamation of president's rule is issued at a time when the lok sabha has been dissolved or the dissolution of the lok sabha takes place during the period of 2 months without approving the proclamation then the proclamation survives until 30 days from the first sitting of lok sabha after its reconstitution so this is also very very important let's say the country is in a period of emergency or a war and the lok sabha is dissolved 
all right or the elections are going on the previous lok sabha is dissolved whatever the condition may then this can be the case so this proclamation will survive until 30 days from the first sitting of the next lok sabha all right provided that the rajya sabha approves it in meantime so let's move forward what is the scope of judicial review for this president's rule so 38th amendment act of 1975 please remember 38th amendment act earlier we talked about another amendment act the 69th amendment act of the 1991 all right which gave this delhi a special status right now we are talking about the 38th amendment act so this act of 1975 made the satisfaction of the president in invoking article 356 final and conclusive which would not be challenged in any court on any ground all right so that means president had the supreme power but this was subsequently deleted please remember it was deleted by 44th amendment act of 1978 implying that the satisfaction of the president is not beyond judicial review so please remember this this can come as a statement in prelims all right the let's say it can come is it final or not final that means final and conclusive so this was true but it was later on deleted all right this case is very important r bombay versus union of india 1994 So it is a landmark decision of the Supreme Court of India, where the court discussed at length provisions of Article three fifty six of the Constitution of India and related issues. This case had a huge impact on centre state relations. So let's see what, uh, how to cancel the president's rule and what is the judicial review and more aspects. So cancellation of the president's rule. So president's rule can be overturned at any moment by a future proclamation of the president himself. the parliament does not have to authorize a revocation declaration that means the starting has, has to be authorized by both of the houses rajya sabha as well as lok sabha but if the president decides to end the rule then it has not to be authorized when a political party is had that means let's say there is a majority and the cm is established in a state and they submit letters confirming majority favor in the assembly for him he asserts his bid to constitute the state government moreover the 44th amendment to the constitution of 1978 imposed various limitations on the enforcement of president's rule for more than a year that means it should not last for more than a year in an ideal condition maximum duration is 1 year the amendment states that president rule can only be extended after a year in two conditions one if india is in midst of a national emergency so only during the national emergency the president's rule can be extended beyond a year of time second thing the election commission of india declares that the extension of the president's rule in the region is required due to challenges in organizing assembly polls in the region so these are only two conditions beyond one year if the president rule has to be continued all right let us see and talk about what are the powers acquired by the president himself during this time during the president rule is in a state all right so essentially the center is ruling but through the president so president can take up the function of the state government directly and power vested in the governor or any other executive authority in the statement is state so whole power goes to the president directly also he can declare that the power of the state legislature are to be exercised by the parliament all right so he can tell that center will rule essentially third thing he can take all other necessary steps including the suspension of constitutional provisions relating to any body or authority in the state so let's see he has to exercise some power all right and some certain constitutional uh, provision is coming in the way all right so he can say that this uh, let us bypass this all right and during the imposition of this emergency the council of ministers headed by the chief minister is dismissed so the cm is dismissed and all the council of ministers is also dismissed all right while the state legislative assembly could either be suspended or dissolved all right let us see the principles laid down by the supreme court during the president's rule so first of all the 44th amendment act told that it is uh, one thing is it's not beyond the judicial review it's still inside the judicial review under the purview of judicial review and second thing not to extend beyond the one year period of time despite two cases all right sorry excluding two cases one is national emergency 
that means in whole india there is an emergency and second if the election commission decides that poll cannot be conducted in this region otherwise it has to be cancelled if anybody or any cm approves a majority and is ready to constitute a government so what are the principles laid down by the supreme court presidential decision regarding this is open to judicial review this is the first and most important thing please remember four prelims satisfaction of the president should be based on relevant material all right there should be material let's say now lg pushes for president's rule in delhi then he should provide material information what is the basis of the president rule all right so president should be satisfied third thing burden lies on the center to prove relevant material exists to justify the imposition so burden lies on the center court cannot go into the correctness of the material but it can see whether it is relevant to the action so this is essentially the judicial review it is the judicial review furthermore state legislative assembly should be dissolved only after the parliament has approved the presidential proclamation that means state legislative assembly should not be dissolved before the both of the state uh, both of the houses of the parliament rs as well as lok sabha have given approval furthermore question of the state government losing the confidence should be decided on the floor of the house and where new ministry takes power in the center they do not have the right to unseat those government where opposition is in power all right so this is also a very good point for the prelims and the state center relations actually furthermore these provision should be used only in exceptional circumstances not uh, like an imposition of power or display of power all right so how can we make the mind map here let us just see very quickly so what is the cause here that does not matter actually but let's say cm is in jail all right and what is the opinion of council of ministers that he will operate from jail operate the government from jail all right now there is another administrator here the lieutenant governor he can see that this is failure of constitutional machinery so what he does in this case there is a difference of opinion that lg may not want him to operate from jail operate the government from jail so he can go to the president providing relevant material and say that let's impose the president's rule in the delhi okay and why this all is happening as per the article 239 double a all right of 1991 which gave delhi the special status all right and what else do we see that president's rule can be applied then what are the terms of the president's rule what are the requirements of imposition all right and what does constitution say that burden is on the center to make every state go by the rules of the or provisions of the constitution all right how it can be cancelled and what is the role of judiciary on all this so what did 38th constitutional amendment said that it is beyond the scope of judicial review but the 44th caa said that it is inside the scope of judicial review and there are certain provisions to it all right then what are the provisions to extend the president's rule beyond one year there are only two conditions on which it can happen all right what are the powers of president during this and what is the terms or let's say terms according to judiciary all right this can make a simple mind map for you so that will be our our lecture today just a second i clear this a bit okay there's no need so we'll finish the lecture here in the next lecture we'll be dealing with the river series actually we'll continuing the river series and we'll deal with uh, another large or major river of south india we already dealt with the krishna river if you remember so we'll deal with the kaveri this time all right we'll also see the related dam projects or the related tussles which are going on between states let's say market to dam project is uh, going on between kerala and tamil nadu so we'll be seeing them all in the next lecture so thank you very much i'll be also be giving some questions on our telegram channel and we'll be solving them in the pdf as well this week's very important questions i have around uh, 10 to 15 questions which we need to solve for this week so that we'll be dealing with uh, in immediate next lecture all right so thank you very much i'll see you in the next lecture have a great day ahead keep studying have a good day see you